job on that. Just a couple things to keep in mind. We're gonna move on, but on that, on that, run into a high C. A couple things to keep in mind. Number one, uh, when I pull this guy into me, my feet aren't static. So I'm not going like this where my feet are just still and I'm trying to pull this guy into me. I don't have enough power to do that. So as I'm pulling his elbow and pushing it across, I'm also moving towards him. And the second thing is, just like we talked about yesterday when you're hitting that high seat, your shoulder's gotta find his hip because if your shoulder pops out, it's gonna be really easy for him to score. So just keep that in mind. So again, I'm pulling and moving at the same time and my shoulder stays in. So pull and moving, stepping in, and my shoulder's gotta be here as opposed to here. That's just bad news for me, okay? So I really gotta keep that shoulder in and get that corner and I'll be able to run him down a lot easier, okay? So that's the high C. So we had pull down, four for front headlock, high C. Next one, I'm again, I'm pulling him down, trying to get the hand on the mat. He takes my wrist. I'm just gonna take the hand that's on the elbow, come to the wrist, and then step to my single. Real simple. And again, if I don't have to hit me, I'm not going to. It all starts with that downward pressure pull. Let me finish trying to dump or a trip. Okay? One more time. If I'm a righty, if I'm a righty like this, right? Try to do it right handed. So pull, there's the wrist, right here, step to my single. I can't wrestle right handed very well. One more time. Pull, right there. Do it. Three minutes. One, two, three. 